Ariane, first of all, it's nice to see you. You look absolutely lovely. I want to start off by asking you, how are you? I'm great. How about you, girl? I'm doing awesome. You know, I love it. I love how everybody came in with the grain for the grain party. <laughs> exactly. Well, I mean, I kind of feel like you got to kind of fit the mold a little bit, you know, but you see some people over here with different colors than green, but that's okay. Yeah. I love it, I love it. All right, so let's get right into it. You have been very busy since your WWE days, and I wanna start off by asking you about what you're working on right now. I know you got music projects, you got a lot going on, girl. Yes, so right now I definitely have my music video, Queen, coming out, which is on International Women's Day, which is tomorrow. Um, and it's just pretty much, you know, we hear the word bitch. I don't know if I can say that or bish. And it's just about like, why do we have to have labels? It's about now creating a space for us to um, be empowered. So that's what Queen is about. And then I also just opened up um, the first luxury independent wrestling promotion called Pound Town Wrestling. So it's definitely controversial because people are like, Pound Town, what is, is that like, you know, like what is that supposed to mean? And that's the whole point. So I'm just trying to like create avenues for people to be seen and be heard. And there's all about like diversity and inclusion, so. Well, tell us about Pound Town Wrestling. You know, I know you have an event coming up in April. Tell us about, you know, the ins and outs of, you know, being running a wrestling promotion, like what you do and all of that. Woo! So yeah, April 3rd, which is like the lead in to the biggest event of the year, which is WrestleMania, the Super Bowl of wrestling. And just being able to have, you know, a independent wrestling promotion that has a DJ, a photo booth. It's been known like, and again, to each their own, where you're seeing an independent uh, promotion like in a backyard or a gymnasium. It's like, why can't there be glam to independence, you know, wrestling? So yeah, it's a lot of work. I'm not gonna lie, and you know, being a woman of color and being one of the first to ever do this, it's 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 very different. But I'm ready, you know, I'm ready to break the barriers. I always say, never let a dream live at the cemetery. I love that, and on top of that, you're giving other wrestlers a platform and opportunity to you know to show themselves, show their skills, and get more bookings and all of that. So that's really cool. Um, I do want to talk to you about you know Women's History Month. We're talking about your new music, your new song coming out on the day of. So with that being said, you know, tell us about who are some of the women that most inspire you. Ooh, that is a good question. First off, um, a person who comes to me is Oprah. You see her story. You see where she came from, and even though I know she has a lot of controversy around her, it's still she. I feel like she still paved a way um, for women, whether you know you're black, you're white, Hispanic, wherever you like, however you resonate. Because we have so many different labels now, you don't want to ever offend someone. Um, I really, really like was inspired by her growing up. I mean, look at Beyonce. You know, like if you think about someone who is in music and pop culture like she's so like non-controversial you never hear about her in the media but she's loved and she's so talented so i would definitely say beyonce and i don't know it's just it's really hard because i feel like there's so many women who have impacted um and michelle obama like how like that woman is like a queen to me just you know um and also being a part of like something that was so monumental but yeah what about the women in ring too? Who are some of the women that you're like, these are like the baddest women right now in pro wrestling or in the past, who are those women for you? You know, I really, well, I gotta give props to my tag team partner. Uh, my former tag team partner, Naomi, AKA Trinity, I think she was ahead of her time um, and never got the flowers that she deserved. But now I think, you know, her making her way in the ring and back in WWE, I, I, I'm excited to see what she's gonna do. So I would definitely say Naomi, I mean, Lita and Trish, we gotta take it back because, you know, especially with like Lita um, having her badass persona and then um, Trish, who was completely different, was like this model bombshell. They definitely paved the way. And just even the girls now, I'm loving Tri uh, Tiffany Stratton. Like, she's like a Barbie doll, but like kicking ass, you know? Like, I just love to see women who typically wouldn't be given this platform where you would be like, oh, they can't do it. But now, like, showing. We're, we're, like, we're gorgeous. We're beautiful. We're smart. We're talented. But also, we can kick uh, ass in the ring and outside of the ring.
Hell yeah, exactly that. Now, I also want to ask you, because the last time we saw you in WWE, you got to be in the Royal Rumble. You also did some stuff with AEW. Uh, is there anything on the horizon with any of those promotions that you would like to go back to? Or are you just solely focusing on your new ventures? So right now, never say never, but I would say PTW. Because I can't really, it's like working on one thing, but then like, putting yourself in another place, like how do you balance both without one of them sacrificing itself? Um, but what I've learned in the bigger promotions, when you go out, create a name, and they see what you're doing, maybe there's room for a collaboration. You know, maybe some of my talent that I have, they get signed to WWE. I don't know. Like, the sky has no limit, so I'm just excited to see what happens.